Gabe, I, I know all year you've been, um, you, you have not been one to talk much about umpire decisions, but that yeah. final check swing call seemed uh, as if it uh, really angered a lot of people. How, what was your, um, what were your thoughts on that? How'd you see it? Super tough. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you don't want a game to end that way. Um, I know these guys work really hard to, to make the right call, so it's super challenging um, on our end. Obviously, it's going to be frustrating to have a, a game in like that. Um, but pretty high quality hitter at the plate that can climb back into that count. It's no guarantee of success at the end of the at bat. Um, it's just it's just a tough way to end it. I'm, there, there, there's no for especially right now. There's no need to, you know, be angry about that. I, I just think it's it's just a disappointing way to end. There, there are other reasons we didn't win today's baseball game. So that was just the last call of the game, and yeah, that's that's enough. Gabe Duvall was clearly throwing mostly sliders there and all sliders to Bellinger. Was that the plan, or was I know Bailey went out there? Was there discussion not to throw the fastball, or did he not have the fastball tonight? No, I actually did think he had he had a fastball, and I thought the slider was. You know, Bellinger wasn't able to to get up underneath it until that that one swing. So. I thought it was a fine pitch call. The slider has been an effective pitch for him for you know quite some time. Fastball has been an effective pitch as well. So, not going to second guess the pitch call there. Next question. Here in the middle. Uh, Gabe, we can't be inside the clubhouse right now. What what is the emotion like, and is it more a mix of of anger or frustration, or is it just disappointment in how this has come to an end? Um. I think there's like a combination of, of still processing the game and, and, and thinking about the moments that we would have liked to seen go differently. And, and then you know, I think there's a quite a bit of, of um, I think players really care about each other. I think the staff really cares about each other. Um, and I think the staff and players care about each other as well. So there's, there's expressions of, of, of appreciation for a, a job very well done. and. Uh, an incredibly um, successful season that at, at the very end just came up a, a tiny bit sh short and I think this is the appropriate time to just share that the, you know the Dodgers pitched really well in this series and pitched really well in this game and um, you know you got to tip your cap to, to to the work that they did they beat us far left Tyler haven't already or maybe you will uh, what, what would you want to emphasize to your players about the season they had and obviously a tough a tough ending but um, you know great yeah. season I, I think the unselfishness that this team showed throughout the year um, the, the trust that they they showed in, in one another was second to none um, better than any season that I've ever been a part of as a player as a coach in any position in baseball and um, I just respect the hell out of a team first mentality. I've never seen it like this. This is the best I've ever seen. So, um, if there's a message, it's it's continue with that, and, and we're gonna we're gonna build on this season and, and be better uh, because we have that foundation in place, that foundation of trust and unselfishness. Down here, Stephanie. Do you think he checked a swing? Uh, it looked like he didn't go. I mean, th that was my take on it. Thanks. Next question, right here. If, uh, you, you mentioned how well the Dodgers pitched, but you wound up not scoring any you know, four runs in the first game was the most that you had. And I think that batting average is probably below 200 for the whole series. I mean, were your quality of a bats what you wanted to see and you just didn't get breaks and they pitched well? How would you assess that? Yeah, I think in hindsight, you can come off or comments can come off looking like making excuses um, about what happened. I mean, Darren Ruff had two balls that he, he smoked on the nose early in the game. That happens as part of baseball. So you don't expect all those to, to, to go your way. And that ball that Craw hit to, to left field on a line, um, Mookie was right there. Uh, Donovan Solano hits a ball down the third baseline. Um, Justin Turner's right there. That's just part of baseball. And, and I don't think it makes any sense to throw your hands up and say, I wish this, this was different in any way. I thought we had some quality at bats throughout the series. At the end of the day, they, they made more pitches than us. And um, yeah, I mean, this is what the postseason is all about. You're going to face the best pitching. Um, everybody's going to be well rested. 
you're not going to get like through the best pitchers in a pen and then get to to poorer pitchers because they're all good, right? I mean, I think our bullpen was a a really good e example of that during the season. By the time we got to the postseason, all of our pitchers had really good numbers in our bullpen. We had a high quality bullpen. The starting pitchers that we threw out there were high quality starting pitchers. The Dodgers can obviously say the same as can um, the teams around the league right now. So you get into the postseason, you're going to face really kick ass pitching, and um, you know then you're going to need to be on your your A game offensively. And I actually think we we put good at bats together, and we just weren't able to get the job done. Down here on the left, Thomas. Uh, yeah, Gabe. First of all, um, Logan Webb, can you comment on how he pitched deep into the game? And the second part of that question is, how difficult is it when you're facing a pro like Mookie Betts? He seemed to be the guy that got to him, but really the only one to a degree. I don't think Logan could have pitched any better. Um, and and Mookie Betts is one of the game's best players, and um, in the biggest moments, he 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 brings his best. His swings were really good, you know. He he had a, a really good feel for Logan's changeup, and um, even had some good passes on other pitches. It's it's. I still think Logan pitched excellent, even to Mookie. And Mookie just got the job done, you know. I don't think there's much more than that. Get over here. Hey, Gabe, uh, although Duvall ended up giving up the go-ahead run, I think he caught a lot of people's attention just with how calm he is, yeah. the electric stuff, the fastball, the slider, just how, you know, this, him being able to kind of have this platform and kind of bode for him going forward as he continues to develop. Yeah, I mean, look, we can think back to the middle of the summer um, and his struggles in Colorado and, and uh, not just that outing, but, but others. And those made him who he was at the end of the season. He was able to to call back to those experience and, and experiences in big moments and sometimes moments of failure. Um, you know, I'm going to have a chance to talk to Camilo here in the next, you know, probably tonight and share with him what it, what a tremendous tremendous job he did. Um, he was continuing to to get in the strike zone. He was continuing to to make pitches. Sometimes even when you do that. You know the the other team can get enough of the baseball to get it through the hole like Gavin Lux did, or or put it on the grass like like Cody Bellinger did. That's part of it, but he's got a really really bright future, and a lot of that has to do with what you mentioned that that calm, easy demeanor coming to a game like that, um, getting a big out against Trey Turner, going back out there, getting you know the first out of the inning against Will Smith on on a slider. Continuing to fill up the strike zone. Obviously, I think he'd like to have the the fastball into JT back. That was a fastball, right? Um, yeah, I, he's going to be he's going to be not just fine. He's he's going to be good. Obviously, every playoff game, every do or die playoff game is going to be tense. But this game, I think we all felt it that every out, uh, every at bat meant something. What was that like to go through just from the first inning on for yourself, for your coaching staff, and the dugout? What was the, what was this whole drama like for you? So watching Logan Webb pitch is is sort of where I'd go in my mind. Um, you know, at every stage, you're you're asking yourself, is is Logan Webb the the best option to get the next three hitters out? Um, and every inning that we sent him out there, we felt like yes, yes, and yes. He's, he just continued to be um, the best option. And look, there there wasn't a whole lot to do in this game um, in terms of we did do some some pinch hitting. Obviously, we felt really good about the matchups that we we ended up getting. You know, Austin Slater got a couple of of reps at, at Julio Urias, and we were able to kind of pinch hit for Tommy Listella and get get that a, a really good bat in the game and a guy who took some good swings off Julio as well, but then also kind of um, upgrade our defense a little bit, given how Tommy has, has run out of gas a little bit on D with, with the, the, uh, the sore Achilles tendon. So a lot sort of went right for us tonight, and I think we were, we were in, in a really good position to succeed and, and, and win this game. And it turned out that um, they just got a few more more hits than us and I think we had players were in really good positions to succeed tonight and they did in many ways and this is baseball is what happens they they just they just beat us I'll take a few more back Alex hey Gabe you guys played them 24 times this year each one 12 times I mean we know how close it was at the end of the regular season what do you make of 
of just the season as a whole against the Dodgers and, and how close this series was? Yeah, I, th I thought we we were really tough in, in the games against the Dodgers all season long. I thought we were really tough in, in tonight's game as well. Um, yeah, I think the character of the team, independent of the talent of the team, really, really shined in our uh, games against the, the Dodgers and some of the things that we talked about when we when we played the last game of the season, that grittiness and that that toughness and that unselfishness and some of the the the, the vision, it just all came together in, in those games against the Dodgers. They played really good against us as well. So rivalry's great and in obviously and clearly in good shape and you know, already I'm not saying we're turning the page to to next year, I think that's not true. But what I'll say is we're we're excited about building on this foundation. Live and in that moment, you, you saw uh, the check, you saw the appeal. Were, were you shocked that that was the call? Like, what was the initial emotion? I mean, the, the, the immediate emotion is, is, is frustration, right? And that's happening all throughout the game. And it's, hap it's, it's heightened in, on the last play of the game, right? On the last, in this case, a check swing of the game. Um, <laughs> That's going to be the thing that that is talked about quite a bit, and I and I understand why. I'm um, I'm way way past the the frustration that I felt in that moment, um, and and I really do think our players and our our staff are too. I just don't know how much sense it makes to for for us on our side, you know, to pick that apart. I don't know how much how how helpful it's going to be. I mean, it'll help it'll help my story. Help your story. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you probably have a little bit from me now, and yeah, I'm, I, I, would, I would bet I a mean, lot. That, a lot of players are going to give you something for your story as well. <laughs> <laughs>